Hi, this is Darcia. For a lot of years, I never knew how to make sausage gravy and I have finally learned how. So let's make it. We have uh, just regular, I made it with turkey sausage. This is pork sausage. Um, whatever your preference is, I will say turkey sausage is more healthy. It's what your preference is. So I'm gonna turn my uh, stove on to a medium high because I want to not only cook the sausage, but to brown it. So I'm just squeezing this out. Now I'm just gonna toss this and this is gonna be heating up. I'm just gonna use a spatula and as you're just breaking it up, it's starting to sizzle and you'll just continue to do this motion until it's nice crumbles. It feels sticky now because it's not cooked yet. This is okay. This is, this is the way it's supposed to look. I think in the beginning when I first learned to make sausage gravy, I was so um, confused why it was such big clumps like this. It's supposed to be, we'll just keep working on it. So it is so, um, so much smaller pieces now. We've just continued to work on breaking up these um, clumps and it's starting to look toasted. It is all this nice brown color. Nothing is pink any longer. So we know that the sausage is done. And so now we can get ready to add flour to it. And it's just all purpose flour. For one pound of sausage, I'm adding uh, about a half a cup of just regular white all purpose flour. Uh, that is up to you. How much gravy do you want? This will make plenty of gravy for about six people. If I were to add milk to this now, it would taste raw. It wouldn't taste nutty and rich. So what we wanna do is let the fat of the sausage soak into the flour, let the flour um, toast a little bit, and it will almost like cook the flour and make it taste so rich. The flour is starting to smell nutty. It just smells like, it kind of almost smells like Thanksgiving. And it is um, not looking as gummy. It looks a little bit, I don't know, just looks like it's done. So now let's add the milk, but we don't want to add all the milk at once or it will be lumpy gravy. We want to add just a little bit. It's almost like we're making a roux, but with the sausage and it'll help it be creamy. The flour will absorb the milk and uh, we'll just do it in stages. You'll see. I'm using skim milk here. I usually do use skim milk. Um, I will say that if you use 2% or whole milk, it will be more rich and more creamy, but you definitely can make it with any kind of milk you want. You can see that I'm adding just a little bit at a time and it is gradually absorbing the liquid of the milk. As it absorbs, I add just a little bit more. This amount, little by little, keeps the gravy from having bumps. Although I will say, it feels kind of cheater because of the sausage. You probably wouldn't notice lumps anyway. This gravy is so easy to make because it's just literally a few ingredients. If you have sausage, and you can use, like I said, pork sausage, turkey sausage, vegetarian sausage, um, whatever milk you happen to have. Do you have flour in your house? Do you have salt and pepper in your house? You can make sausage gravy. It is so fast and easy. Let's add some salt and pepper to season this. I remember when I was first learning how to make sausage gravy, I was so shocked that literally all there is in, in the gravy is milk, sausage, flour, salt and pepper. I think we're adding about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of salt, but I don't add it all at once because depending on how you're feeling or maybe the saltiness of the, this is black pepper, the saltiness of maybe the sausage, or how thick your gravy is, you don't want it to be too salty. If it did get too salty, just keep adding milk 
and it will dilute that salty flavor. You can see as it's starting to simmer, it's thickening up so nicely. That's the action of the flour. Look at that beautiful, thick gravy. Now, it's not done yet. We have to add more milk. As it cools, it will, um, it will, it will definitely thicken up so much. It will, you'd almost be able to cut it with a knife. Nobody wants gravy that thick. I almost want my gravy to be too uh, runny. I had added a little bit more milk, and I just want to taste a little bit of the gravy now. This is the fun part, but we don't want to burn our tongues. It's very good. This gravy is perfect. It's thick. It's delicious, and it will taste so good on biscuits or toast or potatoes. Um, you tell me what you like to eat your sausage gravy on. I know I'm getting hungry. I'm going to eat it, and thank you so much for watching.